Okay, I'm at 9396 Borough Park. Now what you've got is you have a cul-de-sac with I think six properties. They're all single story. These people had the uh, classic, uh, you know, five rooms for $15 cleaners on the rug, so we're smelling chemicals pretty badly. The rugs will have to be cleaned again. No big deal though. Okay, the garage, full size, two car. Now it's a little longer than normal. So the idea is that you would, your car would come to about here and then you still have room for some storage and stuff. Okay, kitchen's good size. Now these are uh, artificial, uh, what's it called? Corian, something close to that. Uh, I can't remember the name, brand name, but nice counters, they're precast, they're very durable, and they don't stain much. And when we've had uh, these things broken or holes in them, we've been able to uh, fix them. Looking outside, you got a little patio here, which is nice. Now, you can't really tell it's too dark, but you basically are sharing this little back area right in here with somebody else. Now, some of them are enclosed. I'm going to show you one here. Now, this is just one unit. I don't, don't quite know how to decide which one it, way it's going to be. Just sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. The bathrooms are all well done in this complex. Now, David noticed that there's stains around here. What's happening is that they didn't put wax, thick wax seals between the, or the proper seals between the toilet and the base. They sealed it and now you've got rust from the uh, bolts leaching out under there. Another good example of the Morons at Work group. Okay, this Another nice sized bedroom in here. There's no light up top, so I can't turn one on actually. But um, it does have a, a location for mounting a light, which I would do. You have one closet here and another one over here. Or as my ex would have said, a hers in hers closet. Master bath. And you'll notice the same staining around the base there. All in all, these are good little properties. We like these.